Hey, what's up? Evan here, and I have a really quick tip here. Uh, the other day, I was trying to figure out how to move a camera along a curve, and so I was looking at the example files, and they have a camera on path using KinFX. And if you look inside the attribute rig vop, there's like a whole bunch of stuff here. And I don't know about you, but like I can't figure all that stuff out. It's too complicated. So I wanted to come out or come up with an easier method. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And let me hide that really quick. So all you have to do is I'm not going to show you how to make a curve because that's simple. Uh, once you have the curve that you want to animate your camera along, uh, the next thing you want to do is drop down a polyframe. And that, that's, uh, that'll allow you to set the normals in the right direction. And so let's turn on normals just so you can see them uh, right here. Display point no normals. They're not uh, going the right direction. We want the normals to face the direction of the curve. So <clears throat> I'm going to toggle off normal plane. And then where it says tangent name, I'm going to put N here. So it's going to be getting the normals based off of the tangents. And that's perfect. That's all we need. Next, let's use a carve slot. And that's going to allow us to animate a point along the circle. And so we're going to switch this over to extract. And if we if we middle mouse click here, it's going to leave us with one point. And so if we move this around, it's just going to animate um, around our, our uh, path. And so the only th other thing to do is to put down a copy to points node. And then we're going to drop down just a cube. And I'll plug the path, or not the path, but the copy to points. The point will be the point we just created. And then we're going to copy that box. And so now we can see it's moving. Well, it's not moving yet. Uh, let me go here. I'm just going to animate this with an expression. Dollar sign FF divided by like 100. That way it should move pretty slowly. And here it is moving around. Now this is great, but we need to actually move the camera. And right now this is a SOP level transformation. But no worries. We're going to figure out how to do that. I'm just going to drop down a null really quickly and I'm going to name it out and let's go out one level and let's go ahead and drop down our camera really quickly and we need to get the information inside uh, from this out node we need to get that transform information onto the camera and we can do that very easily just by using a rivet node and it's going to ask you for geometry and I'm just going to go and I'm going to go find our out uh, null that we created and then it says point group basically what it's going to do is it's going to extract transform based off of the point group that we give it and I did we can just use all of them because uh, we, we want the center of the cube and so now uh, we can see that we get this little null right here I'm sorry yeah uh, this is the locator that the rivet is creating and if we turn this on right here we can see that it's just at the center of the box right here and the only thing we'll have to do is to just parent the camera. Now you can, if you want to stay in the same position, you can do keep positioning or when parenting, but we don't want that. So if I plug this in right here, we can see that the camera snaps to that. Now uh, the rotation isn't right, but that's fine. Usually what I do is instead of directly plugging it in, I usually plug it into a null and then, then I plug it in. And then for the null, I can just rotate it the way that I want. And there we go. And so now we have the camera following our curve and you also have all of your transforms set to zero. So if you need to do anything else, uh, any additional transformations, you have that right here. And I hope you found this helpful. This is the, the simple way that I found to animate a camera along a path. Thanks for watching.